Hello everyone, and welcome to Matanui Online Game. I'm G, and this is something I actually played uh, before, but I played it on stream and I didn't get very far in it. Uh, I, it was just a stream for Bionicle Day, uh, which if you didn't know was August 10th. But I figured, you know what, I should return to this, because this is widely uh, thought of as one of the best Bionicle storytelling games uh, ever made. And also, there is a sequel, so I might get to that as well at some point. But for now, I just want to uh, really give this what it uh, deserves. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you're wondering where I got this, uh, because it is quite old, uh, the Biomedia Project, which I will link in the description, has everything Bionicle that you could really ever look for uh, on their site. So for now, let's get started. In the beginning. Alright, so... We have a light stone. Eh. Eh. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, not a lot to do at the moment. Footprints. I love it. It is found with the footprints. Okay, I can't follow the footprints further, question mark? I can... But there's clearly stuff to do over here. Hello. Wait, 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 wait. Hello. Oh! That is all. All right, let's pop over here. Hello. Help, help me, my village has been attacked. Uh, will you help me? Who are you? My name is Maku of Gakoro. Gakoro lies between the sea and Lake Naho, down the coast. It's a great village of many Matoran, and our leader is the Turagan Okama. I fear much of it has been destroyed by now. What happened? I, I was away when the Rahi attacked, and when I returned, the monsters were everywhere, destroying everything in sight. The Okama and the others barricaded themselves into a hut to hide, but the Rahi broke the pump and the hut sank beneath the waves. Ah! See the issue here. Is there supposed to be sound with this? I feel like there's supposed to be sound. This is very quiet. Huh. Please, there's no time. My people are in great danger. I'm just gonna really quick check all the sound settings and see if there's supposed to be sound or if it's actually supposed to be this quiet. One sec. There we go. That's something. It is fairly quiet, but at least there's background sound. Will you help me? Yes, I will help you. Go to Gakoro and find Okama. She is very wise and might have a plan for escape. I'll try to find Gali. If the Rahi are near the village, she is the only one who can defeat them. She's on a great quest and may be very far away. The only way to get to Gakoro from here is by sea, so you must take my boat. I will search for the tow on foot. Good luck, and tell Okama I am safe. Wait. I don't want to do this yet. I want to explore everything. Okay, let's real quick take the boat back. Uh, oh, I can also go to Pokoro. Interesting. Don't know why I would be going to Pokoro right now, but you know, that's something I can do. Um, ba doop ba doop ba doop. Let's go up to the telescopy. Why can I not move? There we go. Ah, there's a cutscene. In the time before time, when the world was new. I don't remember the whole spiel. Something about the great spirit Masanui ruled over in peace and stuff. Oh, shit. You know, while this is playing, I'm just gonna go find the... No, I know. My phone's in another room. Never mind, I won't find it. Is 
six tribes of Matoran. Dun dun dun, Makuta! Oh lordy, it is Makuta time. Spirit Matanui was put into a deep slumber. I don't know what those three things are meant to represent. Oh, hey, six boys. Oh, and the sound is just done. They did it. And the six will destroy Mata, not Mata Nui, Makuta. Ah, I, uh, I need telescope. Hello. Uh huh. Interesting. Okay, these seem like they're going to be important. Okay. Oh, there's many. Oh, wait. Okay, so we've got... Oh, wait. These are numbers. Okay. Um, so, that's 0, 13, 11, 12, th uh, yeah, th no, 0, 8, 6, 7, Three two five two zero zero. Uh, this one is uh, zero eight seven one zero five four zero zero zero. I don't know what relevance these have, so I'm gonna probably just stop. Okay, lots of interesting symbology. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What if I use my light stone? Fucking nothing happens. Woo! Okay, never mind. Um, can I can I go back now? Oops. No. No. God damn it. There we go. Oh, I see. Oh, they're coordinates. Oh, that's actually super dope. Okay, um, so let's let's look for let's look for Tahu. Okay, so uh, zero zero eight seven one zero zero eight seven. Ah, oh, fuck! I need to write this down. Zero eight seven one zero five four zero 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 eight seven one zero five four zero zero zero. Okay. Zero. Uh. Af. Fuck. Can I? No, I can't input anything. Okay. I assume that I'm going off of the one on the bottom left. Okay. Zero. Uh. Zero. Eight. Oh my god, it moves so fast. Is there... Can I change settings? One sec. No, I can't. Ah! Okay. Uh, that's confusing. I don't know what to do with that. 
So we're gonna we're gonna go back. Gonna gonna head on over. Uh, no, we're not going to Gakoro. Let's follow the footprints. We'll get to Gakoro in a minute. This is literally footprints uh, leading to presumably Takoro. Oops. It it said something. Mubby. Wanna give us a hand? A farmer's work is never done. Ooh, he's got a lava board. Hey, here's a lava surfboard you asked me to hang on to. Oh, the lava surfboard. Okay, so you know me. Ah, it's Vakama. So, you have found your way back after all. You are brave. I do not know what brought you to the city, but you should take care. There are some who remember you. The temper of the Takorum of Torin boils as swiftly as the great Mangai, in whose shadow we live. But in this, our first hour of hope, you may find the villagers' patience to be greater than usual. Yes, there is hope in Takoro. Tahu is here. It was Jala who found him. He caught him in a trap intended for Arahi. It was almost the end of my brave captain, and of his famous guard. Oh. There's a cutscene. Oh, my bee. Hello, Jala. I don't know if I should, you know, try like dubbing voices over them. Like, Josh. Nice work, my dudes. Un nice work. Get to chop. Less than awesome. Lamau, time for murder. And also that guy. Says no. I was just sitting there like, okay, this is a little weird. I can get down with it, but it's a little weird. The people are elated, but I know that their courage will be tested now more than ever. Tahu's arrival marks the first step in a great struggle, and I have much to do. I'm sorry for having so little time for you. As you know, there's a lot to do. Is there anything more you would ask of me? How do you know me? It's hardly the time for jokes. Have you forgotten all your great deeds and also the thing that drove you away from us? Who is Tahu? He will save us. He has come from the heavens as foretold in the ancient legends of our city to battle the Makuta with his sword of fire and release us from tyranny. He is a great hero and will struggle against the Rahi of the Makuta and will face great dangers. The legends prophesy six heroes descend from the heavens to Matanui, and of them Tahu is the fiercest. But his passage to Matanui has left him uncertain. He has needed help to understand his long-awaited quest. I have told Tahu all I know of the legends of Matanui and of the Masks of Power. I have done all I can. Now it is up to him to adventure into the wilderness and find a way to defeat the Makuta. Who are you? 
I am Vakama. I am the Juraga of this village. I am the Legend Keeper, the Takara leader. You have the great fire staff who farms the Mangai's burning corn. If your aimless wandering has caused you to forget everything. Surely you still have the board that I gave you, for that was a special gift. Lava surfing is a difficult skill in Nomatora and other than those that dwell in Takoro have knowledge of it. Be a pity if you have forgotten it entirely. Thank you, goodbye. Forgive me, I have much work to do. I'm preparing for the arrival of another. I'm not certain, but the stars have revealed a new prophecy which I do not yet fully understand. Hmm. <laughs> Three estals, including a Matanui. Lots of Matanui, actually. Damn. What's up? With all the ash and smoke around here, it's hard to keep that shrine clean. The Toa Suva. Oh, where's the dancey boys? Uh. Ta. On. Wait, no. Yeah, that's Ta. That's Onu. The, uh, the last one is Koro. Taonu le Koro? Ah, uh, yeah, that would make sense because we've got fire, earth, air. Ta is fire. Onu is earth. Le is air. Alright, well, um. I guess it's time to head to Gakoro. Because, uh, after all, we, uh, seem to have done everything. Ooh, wait. Can I go this way? <gasps> I can. Oh, this is spoopy. Uh oh. Oh, this is a bad idea. Oh, this is how I die, isn't it? What? 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 Oh, now I'm confused. Oh, I'm lost. I see. Alright, I'll just keep going this way. I see the problem here. Okay. So basically, I just keep going until I find a passage that uh, does not take me the wrong way. Ah! I, I did it. I made it out. Okay. Well, that was bizarre. Time to go to Gakoro, I guess. Yippee! Build Gakoro! Okie dokie, smokey jokey. Huh. Wild how this is so open. There's like... D d d very little... Uh, forceful direction. It's essentially do the things probably. I don't know. Ah, uh, right. I remember this. Oops. Um, another medium one should be good, and then a small one. Another small one. Beautiful. Loving it. Ooh, Gakoro. Uh, you've, you've looked better. Yeah, you've looked better. Wait the fuck, where am I? Am I? Am I the dumb? Am I the big dumb? Am I the big dumb? Yes! I just had to turn around. Let's go to the left one. Well, given the number of Matanui... Ooh, what that? It's a fish. Okay, given the number of Matanui statues around, uh, that's probably the Turaga's place. Probos. Ah, uh, let's maybe, let's maybe not, just yet. Let's look around first. Ooh, kidooki. Turn around. An Engen. Fush. 
huge. It's not working! Gonna have to remember that. Definitely. Alright, let's go down. I guess I'm swimming. Ah! A blue sparkle. Hello! Wait. Is that it? Hello? Okay, they're stuck in there. Oh yeah, I remember this. I remember this. I have to... <sighs> yeah, I don't remember what I have to do. I have to do something. Okay. I have to do something to get a gear. I don't remember how to get the gear. But I know I gotta do something for it. Is it in here anywhere? For some reason, I remember Golly coming along. I can't, I can't go anywhere here. Okay. So that's all I have. Is this. Which makes me feel that the gear that I'm looking for may be underwater. Let me just check if there's anything I could like disassemble in here. Not really, no. Uh huh. Yeah, I gotta get I gotta get the pump working. Or at least I assume it's a pump. It's some sort of engine. It's, uh, fish. Yes. Yes, fish, 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 fish. Why do I feel like it's on the ground somewhere? I know. What? Can I? She's she's nodding at me. I'm gonna use a light stone. Ah, oh, she's blind. I'm gonna use my lava surfboard. She's a surfer. Okay. I feel like it's probably on the ocean floor for some reason. Well, I guess the bay. Floor of the bay. I am confused. What am I supposed to do here? Yeah, I know! You're there! I get out! Is there... Okay, let's look around over here. Let's see if there's anything where my cursor turns. I know that you can't see my cursor, but... Uh, essentially, the only indication that anything is interactable is uh, just... My cursor goes from arrow to hand. That That's it. Okay. Can I... Is there anything I can do? Ooh, there is. Who is that? Who's there? Maku sent me to rescue you. Maku escaped? We were so worried about her. We are trapped here underwater. The door is stuck and we can't open it. If the village pumps are repaired, the hut will rise to the surface and we can escape. The rye smashed them and pieces fell into the water. If you can find the missing piece and put it back in the pump machine, it will float us back up. I left a light stone in my hut. It may help you see underwater. Please hurry. Hold on. I will be back. Be back. I don't know how much longer we can survive in here, and the rye may return. Ah. That's what I was supposed to do. I need a special light stone. Holy fuck. I hope that you can't hear that. But I am so annoyed. Uh, there have been people mowing the lawn out somewhere nearby. Maybe it's not actually that close by. But it's close by enough that it's loud in my place. That it's just, oh, it's been going all day. It's been incessant. I'm so annoyed. How big can your lawn possibly be? Okay. So I have a light stone. Do I need to use the light stone? Oh, 
There it is. Aha! I did need to use the light stone. The licht stone. Okay. Let's go. I really hope that you can't hear this noise in the background. It's really fucking annoying. And I hate it. And it makes me want to shoot a bitch. Okay. Gear. I am a genius! Oh shit, it's Tarakawa. Oh shit, it be golly. Ten top ten epic anime fights. God, I forgot how janky the first Rahi were. I love them. They're so great. They're so janky and they're so great. A punchy lizard with treads. Like, who comes up with that? That's fantastic. One of these things can breathe underwater. One of them is a... Lizard. She's got the infected Kanohi! Hey, Hero, thanks for saving us. Now we can go back to our fishing. Okay. After the Rahi attack, there's still much work to do restoring Gakoro. Okay. Um. Okay. Who are you? I'm the astrologer. I watch the stars and the water. What you doing? Oh wait, have you any other questions for me? The heavens are in turmoil, and I must chart their fluctuations. I'm charting changes in the skies. Most important, many important things are happening around Mount Nui, and many more will happen. I use the telescope on the cliff. It tells me what will happen and when. How do I use the telescope? It's very simple. Around the base of the telescope are pictures. They are constellations, patterns of stars in the night sky, and markings that show the prophecies of legends. Each picture has a red star in it. When the red star reaches a certain place in the heavens, it means something important will happen here on Mount Nui. One of the prophecies. When you look through the telescope, you will see many stars, and one of them is the red star. Look at the constellations near the red star. They will look like the ones in the pictures. When the red star is exactly where it is shown in one of the pictures, then a prophecy may come true. If something changes in the sky, it is my job to change the picture so I can better see in the future. Even though we Matora remember the prophecies, nothing is certain. The future can change. If you can read the numbers in the telescope, it is even easier to tell the future. Oh, okay, so that's how the telescope works. Interesting. Well. That's pretty dope, actually. I like that. What's up? I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat your fish. I'm gonna steal your fish. Thank you for rescuing us. You are bold and true to your word. All the Matoran of Gakoro owe you their gratitude. For once, I'm glad that Maku had snuck away from the village so that she could find you. Your eyes are filled with questions about the mysteries of Matanui, my friend. Giving you some of the answers you seek is a small payment for your deeds, but I offer you what knowledge I can. Our astrologer has seen great changes in the skies and, read, and has read the dark future of Matanui. The Toa of Kamen began their mighty quest to save us from the Makuta. Yet here in the midst of this upheaval you are you, a brave wanderer in this dangerous land. Whomstadov am I? I think someone has plans for you that are greater than your statue would suggest. Perhaps you are to be a hero like the Toa. I do not know. Matoran have forgotten their civilization. Even the Turaga do not have recordings of all that has come before. But the ocean remembers. Like history, the water holds many secrets in its forbidden depths. It surrounds Matanui and covers it. It watches the land as it sleeps and remembers. We caught the Toa gently when they descended and delivered them to us. You are an absolute in these uncertain times. Your past is forgotten and your future is an empty book. You must find your own destiny, my brave adventurer. Who's Gali? Gali, the Toa of Water, the great hero of Gakoro. Like the other Toa, she descended from the heavens to save us from the Makuta. She is wise and strong and quick. 
Yali is the protector of the sea and of the lakes and rivers that feed it. Her mask of power lets her breathe freely beneath the waves. What of Maku? Maku often sneaks out of the village to spy on Huki, the Koli champion. She tells me she is just practicing a boating, but I know the truth. It is far too dangerous for her to be outside the village now. For her own safety, I will forbid her to go, even though her wandering saves us this time. If in your travels to Pokoro, you should meet Huki. Tell him she is safe. You may have heard of the attack and will be worried. <gasps> I gain love. Good luck, brave adventurer. I bet you're in love. Cute! Oh, they might not be. I suppose it could be platonic. <sighs> okay. Uh, what's in this house? I've heard that there's trouble in Pokoro. Oh no, poor Hookie. That's that's him on the wall. It just it won't go away. Okay, lots more of Gakoro. Is this is this is all I can do? Okay. Hi. Where would you like to go? Tell the Powahi. Time to go to Pokoro. I'll talk to Hookie and be like, Maku's not dead. And he'll be like, Oh, yay! Nye. Eh? What's that? Sorry, I don't get too many travelers around Powahi these days. That's Powahi! Powahi is, well, there's not much to it. Really, mostly sand. Lots of sand. There are the canyons, which are real pretty to look at, if the son of the Rahi don't get you first, and the Path of Prophecies, which the ancient carvers made. Of course, a decent place, too, and don't miss the games. Most of everyone around Matanui turns up to see a Koli match when they're on. Haven't been too many visitors lately, though. Bye! Yeah, the sun. No, fuck you. I know who I am. Oh my god, too many letters. I could probably read it after a little while. I remember most of the things, I just... Too much. Ah. Okay, so... This is Pokoro, up on the left here. Oh, God. So, the one... Okay. So, the one... We know what the R is. And the one right before is an A. Air something. R. Quarry! It's the quarry! That's what it is. Let's go to the quarry first. Fuck where the plot's taking us. Nay, I'm here to explore. Or maybe I should. Ooh, it's pretty. Oh no. Okay, so this is actually going to be relevant. Never mind then, I will fucking leave. Okay, no. Turn the fuck around. Turn around, go back to the quarry's entrance. Time. To go to Pokoro. Hello, little Pomatoran. Well, sometimes I impress myself. Where the, where the fuck are you? Okay, that's the quarry. That's Pokoro. Where am I going? Skizzy? Um. Onuwahi. Oh. So that's how you get to Onuwahi. Okay. Well. Okay. Pokoro. Damn. That's some gravitas. Oh. Fuck yeah, people. Hello, stranger. Are you looking for a good Koli ball? Let me recommend the comment, our most popular model. That's a Koli ball. Why, Koli balls are for playing Koli, of course. You'd want to comment, our most popular model. Being for two Hoosie Pecking Birds, or the equivalent. Our comet balls are the best in Matanui. Everyone wants one. Don't be the only Matoran in Pokoro without a comet. Where do you get your Koli balls? Well, now that's privileged information, my friend. Let's just say I have a secret source. How do I buy a Koli ball? We trade here, like in the rest of the bazaar. If you got something worth trading, I'll give you a Koli ball for it. 
Avita's in. Come back anytime. I don't really want a Cully Ball. Charge it too, who's he for your Maha? Okay. Pick to keep a going. What's up, fucker? Are you here for a Coley match? I sure could use some more teammates to play with. All the others have gone home. They're not feeling well. Not even Hookie can play anymore. I just not got a new Comet. Traded two Hoosie for it. Up, up, up. What is Coley? You must not be from around here. Coley is the greatest sport on Matanui. It's incredibly simple, but takes much more skill than the sports they play in other villages. Coley is played in a Coley field. You're standing in the biggest one in Poahi, but they don't have to be as fancy as this. Only has four goals set up on each side of a square. There are four players. Each of the goals has a motor to guard it. To win, you have to kick Coley balls like this one into any of the other three goals. While at the same time stopping other players from getting their balls into your goal. That's it. It's a Comet. A Comet is the best kind of Coley ball you can get. Everyone is getting one of these now. They're perfectly balanced, so it's very hard to miss, and when you kick them, they fly as fast as a Comet. They only started trading them recently at the bazaar. I don't know where they get them, but whoever carved them is truly a master. It's Hooky! Who is Hooky? Why only the greatest Coley player ever? At least, he was. Fell ill a little while ago, and I haven't seen him around much. He lives just on the other side of the Coley field. Bye! Up, up, <coughs> Yeah. Okay, wait. He lives on the other side of the Coley field. Oh my god, what? Wait. Where the frick am I? Did I walk past all these people to get here? I love Coley, but everyone is on sick. Okay, this is just the other side of the bazaar. Okay. So, is there somewhere else I should be going? Huh. Wait, he gone. Oh no! It's a ball! Oh, oh shit. Ah. Infected Coley ball. Okay. So I should turn get get back to the trader and be like, hey, you are bitch. Of course, I know who this man's is, but I cannot say because that's bitches and cheating. Well, stranger, you looking for a good Coley ball? I may recommend the comment. I'm gonna pop in the bottle of come back any time, motherfucker. Okay. Let's go in here. <gasps> it's Onewa! Onewa, I, uh, no, I'm never quite clear on how to pronounce it. Hail adventurer. You have come at an unhappy time in Bokoro, I fear. I'm about to announce to my people the news that the next Koli match will have to be cancelled. I do not think even Great Pohatu could play Koli at a time like this. Who the fuck are you? I am Onewa, Turago of the village of, of the village of the village of Pokoro. I'm torn here are master carvers and their work is the envy of all of Matanui. Today I'm not carving works of art. Instead, I am fashioning beds. I'm struggling to bring comfort to the sick people of this village, but it is a fleeting solace. We know nothing of this illness, how long it might last, or where it comes from. Left unattended, I fear the madness. Why are you cancelling the Kali match? A dark plague has corrupted my people in my village. Though many still stay at their work and visit the bazaar and play Kali, they have blinded themselves to the truth and put strength and duty before fear. Uki, our greatest Kali champion, was one of the first to fall ill. He has become weakened and cannot move from his bed. I fear that soon we will see him in the beginnings of the madness at the same diabolical force that grips the wild Rahi when their masks become infected. Where's Pohatu? Pohatu is the toe of the Pokoro Motoran. His great strength can fell mountains, and the Kanohi Kakama gives him speed greater than any creature on Matanui. The irony is that Pohatu's strength and speed cannot help us. An enemy that can neither be seen nor felt plagues us. The Kama of Takoro has sent some of his guard to assist us, but they will not enter the village for fear of falling prey to this disease. Instead, they are combing the hills in search of Pohatu, who is on a grave quest for the Masks of Power. But without knowing even where this illness comes from, there is little anyone can do, even the great Pohatu. Bye! Wish you the speed of Pohatu, adventurer. I don't know, steal your shit. Let's steal your shit. Any more houses I can go into? No! There's totally, like, not. 
They're all closed. I need to find Hookie. I'll oh, forget the plot. lot. Okay, uh, let's go down to the Coley Field. Turn around. Ah, probably right here. Stay away from me. Just want to be left alone. Hey, yo! I'm Uhuki. Why is that? I don't know. I've been here for how many days? I'm not sure anymore. I used to know. I must go. I feel strange. No one must come here, especially Maku. Don't tell her I am ill. It will worry her. She must not see me like this. She must not. Goodbye! Get out! Welp. That was awesome. I guess... I guess I'll leave. Um... Do I go back to Gakoro? Yeah? And I... Uh, fuck it. I'm going to Onuwahi. Anything fun to do? Hello, Mount Ihu. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. It's a baby! It's Puku, probably. Uh, let's not ride the crab yet. The fucker. Well, you've got a piece of grass in you, so uh, you're texting him. Hey, howdy, traveler. Me a crab down on a coro. Awful dark in there, but Puku knows the way. Or there's another Usal race coming up. Make sure to catch you if you're in town. How's Puku? Puku's a retired racing crab. He used to belong to none other than Apu himself. Took the tile three times with him. She's a bit long in the tooth now, but still fast. What a race! Usal crabs are strong and loyal. They help us with many things here, from mining to transportation, but mostly racing. I'm usually at the track, but with all the problems these days, there isn't much time for it. Where's that car? Okaro is a great undercity of Anuwahi, where the mines sink as deep as Mount Ihu is tall. The wise Wainua rules there. Goodbye! Bye now. There's another, there's another baby over there. Well, I guess I'll ride the crab. Ride the crab. Ah. Holy shit. That was fast. Well, we have, um, yeah, we've seen three different, uh, places, three different villages, and now I think that there's a pretty good place to cut it. Next time, probably, we will see the other three, which is the villages of Earth and Air and Ice. But for now, thank you all so much for following my playthrough of Matanui Online Game, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!